Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory, 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 glory. I believe we are, we are, we are, we are back. And let me, let me start and give you the message, the gospel of the, our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, a good fight of faith, this is a message that I was praying, speaking to God in my spirit. What shall I say to those that will be watching? And the Lord gave me a, a word to say, preach about a good fight of faith. You see, it's a good fight. And then he says, of faith. It's not a good fight of anything. It's a good fight of faith. But now, many do not understand truly what is a good fight of faith. They may be thinking a fight of faith or a good fight of faith, it is actually a, 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 a fighting with spirits or fighting with demons or fighting with witches or with demonic uh, 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 with demons or powers of darkness. But the fight of faith is really having that revelation of truly knowing what God is, is saying. A good fight of faith. It is standing in the word of God regardless of what is going on. Regardless of how you feel, you, you maintain your position. You, you, it's, it's a, it's, you have decided that your faith will not be taken away by anything. No situation will take away your faith. No sickness will take away your faith. No lack will take away your faith. So it is knowing that I am standing in the word of God. I believe in the word of God. Regardless the situation, regardless the, pro the, the, the problem, or what I see with my own eyes, or what I hear with my own ears. So a good fight of faith is knowing the word of God that is inside of you. And believing it. You are not going to stop believing it when you see things not going in, in, in or not aligned with, with the word of God. You are going to stand in the word of God. If God says you are blessed, when a situation comes, uh, 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 when you start lacking finances, when you start going through financial problems, you, you are not going to change your mind because the word of God doesn't change. It doesn't change. It remains the same. Remember what Jesus said. Jesus said, he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So he doesn't change. He doesn't change. You see, God has integrity in his word. God can never change his word. God can never come against his word. God can never, ever, ever change his word. Regardless what may happen. He said, the heavens may pass away. The earth may pass away. But my word will what? But my word will remain. So it tells you that when you have this in your spirit, when you have this word in your spirit and it, is, it has settled and it has, been, it, has, it has been built up within you, you are able to stand in times of trouble. You are able to stand in the day of evil. You are able to stand. And you see what the word of God does? It builds a spiritual defense. The enemy cannot just come in and go out. No. Why? Because there is a defense. There is a fence. There is a divine protection around you. All glory to Jesus. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. I don't know if somebody is listening to me. So a good fight of faith. It is not just saying, oh, 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 Satan, leave this. Leave my, leave my finances. Leave my children. No. A good fight of faith is believing in the word of God. Now, tomorrow, and forever. Which means always you are going to believe the word of God. No situation that is going to come and try to change your mind concerning the word of God. You believe it in season and out of season. Whether cold, whether warm, you believe it. You stand in the word of God and you do not move. You do not move. You remain unshakable. Nothing just come in and shake you. Why? Because you are standing in the word of God. So regardless of what you have seen with your eyes, regardless of what you have heard with your ears, and regardless of what is happening around you, you know one thing. I am standing in God's word and I'm going to believe God no matter what. And I know that his word is, sure, is true. And God 
You see, God's promises in his word, I have told you, they are ordained for fulfillment. There is no word of God that will, that will just be released and not do nothing. The word of God, he says, it is, it is a word that comes out of my mouth that I release, but it will not come back to me void. It will not come to me without accomplishing. So the word of God has a mandate and has a mission. It is for it to be fulfilled in your life. And I tell you, God shall never leave you until he fulfills his word in your life. Definitely that is what he's going to do. He's going to fulfill his word. I don't care what is happening around. I don't care. His promises are true. And they are what? And they are yes. And I know you can hear me right there where you are sitting. Whether you are, you are, you, you, you are watching me on your phone or in any device, I know you are hearing me. 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 Glory to Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Just say it. Say it. Let it, let, let it, let, let it come out of you. Say, say, say the word of God is true. Say the word of God has been ordained for fulfillment. What is said concerning my life in his word is going to come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to stand strong. I'm going to stand firm. My faith is not going to be shaken. I'm going to believe in his word. And I'm going to see it coming to pass with my own eyes. I will see it coming to pass. I will taste the power of God. I will taste the goodness of God. Like David who said, goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Truly, it shall be that way. When he, said, when he said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the quiet waters. He restores my soul. Hey, for his name's sake. He says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For his word and his staff, they comfort me. Oh, glory to Jesus. He said, he said, he anointed my head with oil. My cup overflows. Oh, glory to Jesus Christ. He set a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Oh, glory to Jesus. I know you can hear me. I know you can hear me wherever you are. I know you can hear me. Oh, glory, glory. So a good father of faith, let us go to... Uh, uh, first Timothy chapter first Timothy chapter 6 let us go to verse 12 verse 12 says fight the good fight of faith take hold of the internal life which you were called and about which you made a good confession in the presence of many witness ela divo on franiga I sense the power of the Holy Ghost. I sense the power of the Holy Ghost. So a good father of faith, I told you, it is standing in the word of God. The word of God that you know that has been, or that the Lord has put in your spirit. This is a word. You are going to believe that word. And you are not going to change your belief. You are not going to change your confession. If today you confess it i am blessed it's going to remain that way you are blessed you are not cursed if today you say i am healed it's going to remain that way you are healed it's not going to change oh glory to jesus christ if the word of god says he, the plans that he has for you are, are the plans to prosper you and not to harm you oh glory to jesus and that is not going to change the plans of god are, are pure and they are true and they are ordained for fulfillment glory to jesus you are going to stand you are going to stand in the word of god you are going to say i am here but i still see my myself going there glory to jesus and that is it and that is it you may be in a situation right now but that does not mean that is where you will always be it won't always be the same. Things won't always be the same. The situation that is going around, that you see that has affected companies, that has affected your work, your, that has affected everything around the world. It, it, I tell you, it is for a moment. Though you suffer a little while, God of heaven, God himself will once again restore you. You will be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be restored. The Lord knows he will restore you. 
it's just a matter of time the time that you have right now it is a time just to to build up yourself it is just a time to start looking within you and start to see where have I missed it and go back and say no Lord I see where I've missed it if it's your prayer life you're gonna say okay that has been my prayer life my prayer life has not been going well so you gonna what you gonna pray and be restored you're going to say, I've not been spending time in the Word of God. So you're going to take the opportunity. You're going to go through the Word of God. You're going you're gonna to start studying the Scriptures. You're going to get the Word of God inside of you. End the video called Satan Amandeke. Throw it to Jesus. So this is a time where, where, where God knew. God knew that, listen, God knew that there have been many excuses that people have been making. People have been making. They were told to go to church. They said they are busy. They were told to pray. They said they are busy. They were told to do, to, they were told to do all that God required from us. But they were told, they were saying, we are busy, we are busy, we are busy. And God, God, oh, he's a master of all things. God then hold the world. He hold the world. In his, own, in his own hand and he make it stand still and he said those that have been given excuses let me create an opportunity for them so that one day they may, they may realize and remember they had an opportunity this listen this has never happened in the world history this is the first time this happened where you see the whole world locked down it is the first time it is the first time this happens. So God has been looking for somebody to give him attention. And they don't, don't ever think he's a man of God, he's a pastor, he's an evangelist, he's a prophet. No, God is looking for you. Not anybody else. God is looking for you. To give him that attention that he has been looking for. So once and for all, there's Zantekileba. Take this opportunity. Give him all that you have to give him. Give him your time if you have to give him. You see, right now you may say, I don't have, I don't know, I don't have, I don't, I don't know what I can give to God. You can give him your time. You, during this lockdown, you can give him your time. You can, you can give him your time. And I tell you that, 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 that will be a blessing to you. That will be a great blessing to you. Not just only to you, but to your family. Not just only to your family, but to your generation. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus Christ. Now, a good father of faith. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. Let us go to the book of Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54. It is a scripture that you know. All of, almost all of you, I believe, you know. Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54. Verse 17. Verse 17. Isaiah 54, verse 17. Isaiah 54, verse 17 says, No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Other translation says, No weapon formed against you shall succeed. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You see, it is a word of God. E, 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 e. It is the word of God that is true that you will see it manifesting in your life. Which means the word that you believe, it is a word that you will see manifesting in your life. Let me, let me say it again. I said the word that you believe, the word of God that you believe, it is the word that you will see manifesting in your life. Somebody got me right there. Somebody got me right there. Now, listen. This is a verse that you all you all know. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon. It says no. No weapon. You see, none of the weapons of the enemy. They may be weapons, but it says no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So, this weapons it may be what? This weapon may be sickness. The Bible says it will not prosper. So believing that word and speak 
speaking the same word without changing regardless of how you feel because you see feelings our feelings or our our, our human reasoning is not always constant it moves now and then and we some we some Times feel happy today, tomorrow sad, happy tomorrow, another day sad. So our feelings is our feelings are never at the same level. We change now and then. So now, what doesn't change is the word of God. So, in other words, we put the word of God within us because it has the ability to 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 it has the ability to influence our human character somebody got me right there the word of god has what it has the ability the word of god has ability to influence our character that we may be people that god has created us to be but listen without the word of god our character will not or cannot be influenced and cannot be aligned with god's will so it is the word of God that what? That influences us to be the way God has created us to be. So now, the word of God says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Now, you look around you. You look around you. You look around you. There are many weapons of the enemy. There are many weapons of the enemy. It might be the headache that you are trying to get rid of, but it keeps bothering you. It might be the sickness. It, it, it might be this coronavirus. It might be, it might be flu. It might be, it might be HIV. It might be TB. It might be cancer. It might be, it might be, it might be high blood. It might be whatever sickness that can be a weapon of the enemy. It can be ungodly thoughts. That can be a weapon of the enemy it might be it might be worry it might be stress it, it, it might be anxiety it might be it might be a lot of things that you can think of that you know that they are not giving you peace at all whatever disturbs your peace is a weapon of the enemy but the lord is saying what the lord is saying no weapon formed against you shall prosper it is a, listen it is a fact it is true it does not need evidence you see what is true does not need evidence it is true so the word of god is true so this does not need anything we don't need to add anything here we just know one thing that the word of god is true no weapon formed against me shall what shall prosper you look from your right you say no weapon formed against me shall prosper you look in front of you you say no weapon formed against me shall prosper you look on your own your, you look from every side you know i am protected from every side i am heavenly heavenly protected from every side no weapon of the devil can Come into my life. I am standing in God's word. And this is my, this is where I function. This is where I, I know I live. This is where I know I can breathe. Oh, glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So now, this is what we know. We know that no weapon formed against us shall what? Shall prosper. This is, this is a blessing for, for, for the children of God. It is a blessing for the children of God. So I keep it in my heart for, it to, for me to see it manifesting. I keep it in my mind for me, to, for me to see it manifesting. And I keep it in my mouth for me to see it manifesting. And what am I going to do? I'm, 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 I'm going to speak. I'm going to declare it. It's going to be a declaration over my life, over everything. That concerns me. Glory to Jesus. So this is a word of God. That is a great blessing to you. It is a great blessing to you. Especially in this time. Especially in this time. Now let's read. Let's, let's, let's read. Let's read. Let's read further. It says no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And you shall uh, refute every tongue that rises against you. In judgment. So any tongue. Any tongue that declares 
that declares any evil against you. The Bible says you shall overwrite it. So there, has, there is power as a child of God that resides within you, that is inside of you, that when you speak, the Lord can give you, a, 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 or the Lord has structured things in the realm of words so that when you speak, when you declare that every tongue that rises against you to be overrated, he will do it exactly the way you say it. Why? Because you have God's power within you. You have God's power within you. You have God's power within you. When you, when you declare it, that Father, any tongue that rises against me, any tongue that speaks evil against me, any tongue that comes against me, in the name of Jesus, it shall not, it shall, it shall, it shall, it shall, it shall not prevail. It shall not prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. So when you, when you, when you, you say the word, you fight a good fight of faith. You speak the same thing that God speaks. You, you, you. It means you agree with Him. You do not change. You agree with him. You do not change your confession. You say it until, until, and until today, tomorrow. The, you see, you say it all the days of your life. You keep saying it. Because the word of God doesn't expire. It doesn't expire. The more you say it with your mouth. You see, the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So imagine you put that in your heart. And, and the overflow of your heart drives your mouth and your tongue to speak. Ah, Sally go on Friday, call Jele Monday. Now imagine what's going to happen in the spirit. This is something that many Christians are ignorant of. Many Christians are ignorant. And I'm telling you, don't be ignorant of this. Paul said in the scriptures, he said, let us not be ignorant of these devices of the enemy. Oh, glory to Jesus Christ. He said, for, 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 for our, our weapons, they are not canal, but they are mighty. They are mighty. They are mighty. They are mighty in God. Through, through the pulling down of stronghold and any, every imagination and anything that wants to lift itself above the knowledge of Christ. This is the weapons that we have. Our, our battle, it is not against flesh and blood. But it's against principalities. It is against principalities. But how do we fight? How do we fight? We fight a good fight of faith. Which means we, are, we fight by speaking the word of God. We, we see, we don't have anything from us that can defend us. What defends us is the word of the Father. It is a precious gift of God's word given to us. Glory to Jesus. So we are going to stand in the word of God regardless what is happening. When the Bible says, when, when they say to you, when they say there is, uh, there is, when they say there is a casting down, we say there is what? There is a lifting up. Glory to Jesus. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Bible says what? The Bible says God shall lift up a standard against him. And glory, we stick on to the word of God. We speak the word of God that though the enemy comes in like a flood, glory, the spirit of God shall, be, shall lift its standard against him. We have victory in Christ Jesus. Our, our victory is still alive. The blood of Jesus never ran dry. It is a blood that will never run dry. Oh, glory. This is a blood that has a voice. It speaks. It is still speaking. It will still speak tomorrow. It will sp still speak in the time to come. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Jesus said to the disciples, he said, behold, I have given you all the power and all the authority, the exousia, the, the, the right to exercise power, the dunamis. You see, this is the power of God and authority of God that we have. And when we speak, we speak with authority. And when we act, this is the power that we demonstrate. For the kingdom of God is not in a matter of talking or drinking, but it is in, it is in the demonstration of power. It is in a demonstration of power. But when we speak the word of God, what happens? The word of God becomes alive when we speak it. But you see, this is, this is what happens. When it is still in the Bible, it is called the written word. But when we speak, 
speak it it is what it is a spoken word it becomes alive when we speak it jesus says to the disciples in john 6 verse 63 he says the words i speak unto you they are life and they are spirit the words that i speak unto you ezekiel chapter 2 he says when god spoke to me he said when he spoke to me he said his word entered me and lifted me this is what the what happens when you receive the word of god it gets inside of you and it lifts your spirit you see, we do not have to interpret what we see in the, in, the, in the physical body. But what takes place or the things that happen most are things that are in the spirit. The same thing as your salvation. When you receive the Lord Jesus Christ and you, you, you prayed, you said, Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me for my sins. You said, I welcome you into my life. I, 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 I make you my Lord and my personal Savior. That happened in your spirit. Though the outward appearance, you could not see anything changing. Uh, but there is a lot that took place in the spirit. There is a lot that took place in the spirit. Yes, there is a lot that took place in the spirit. Do not be ignorant of this. Do not be ignorant of this. Glory to Jesus. I don't know. If, can, I preach, can I preach the gospel? I feel like I'm in church. I feel like I'm in church. I don't know. I don't know. Can I preach this gospel to you? Glory to Jesus. Now look at this, look at this. He says, he says, and then he says, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their vindication from me declares the Lord. He says, this is the heritage of the servants of the, servants of the Lord. This is our heritage. We are, we, are the, we are the one who have inherited this blessing. We have inherited this blessing. That no tongue that rises against us shall prosper. That no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Glory to Jesus Christ. Ella video sombra di accorde. Now let me show you something. Let us go to Isaiah 40. Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah, I believe this is our last scripture. I, I want you to stay connected. I want you to stay connected. Stay connected. Stay connected. Isaiah 40. Isaiah chapter 40. Glory to Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29. Let's read it. Verse 29. Verse 29 says, verse 29, verse 29, verse 29, verse 29. Verse 29. Yes, it says, he gives power to the faint and to him who has no mind he increases strength verse 30 he says even youth shall faint and be weary and young men shall fall exhausted verse 31 verse 31 says but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not be faint. Jesus. I'm free dear culture lady. I don't know if somebody is, is listening to this. You see, this is verse 31 that I want you to, to highlight. It says, but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. For the Lord shall renew their strength. They that wait upon the Lord, the Lord shall renew their strength. I don't know how many of you, I don't know, you might be feeling like I have been waiting. But this is what God is promising you and this is what he's doing right now. He says those that have been waiting, those that have been waiting, those that have been waiting, the Bible says what? The Bible says God shall renew their strength. Those that have been waiting on the Lord. The Lord shall renew their strength. What is happening right now? The word that I declare to you and that I preach to you. God is renewing your strength. You might be saying, I have not. I, you might be saying, man of God, I, I have been trying to pray. And but recently, I don't know what's happening with my prayer life. Listen, go 
God knew that such a day will come and such a season will come. But he said, those that wait on the Lord, he shall renew their strength. So you were included in the decree of God. You were included in the word that God has released before time. He said, you, you that, that have been waiting upon him, he will renew your strength. And that is what is happening right now. God is renewing your strength. There is a lifting. There is a spiritual upliftment that is taking place right now in your spirit. A spiritual upliftment that is taking, it, right now it's, 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 it's happening inside of you. And you know, you know, I know you can sense it. I know you can sense it within you. It's, it's happening inside of you. It's happening. There is a lifting. There is a, there is a this energizing, a spiritual energizing. There is this energy that is coming and that is bubbling forth from you. From, it's, 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 it, you are feeling it right now. You are sensing it right now. Some of you, you are starting to pray in tongues right now. Some of you, you are starting to, you, are, you, you, you know something is happening within me. Oh, glory to Jesus. I may be here and not explain what is happening to you, but I know something is happening. Something is happening in the name of Jesus. Now look at this. And then he says, and they shall mount and they shall. Listen, they have not just waited. After knowing that they have been waiting, their prayers were heard by God. And God renewed their strength. And after he renewed their strength, God said they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall mount up. They shall mount up. Which means, you see, the mountains that you know around you. The Bible says you shall go higher than them. You shall be on top of the mountain. You shall mount up. Which means there will be a lifting up within you. God shall lift your spirit. This is what he's saying. And he says, you shall mount up with wings like eagles. May your prayer life develop the wings of an eagle. May you fly and fly and fly. Because you see, the bottom is crowded and you can see it. It is so crowded, you can see it. But this is what God is doing now. He's, he's handpicking you. He's distinguishing you. He's handpicking you. You shall mount up with wings like eagles. And they shall not. I mean, they shall run. You, saw, you see, you have been walking. And some of you, maybe you have been crawling. But here is the promise of God. He says you shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Which means you shall walk and never get tired. Why? Because the Lord has heard your prayer. The Lord has heard your prayer. So, fight a good fight of faith. Stand in the word of God. Regardless of what is happening, stand in the word of God. And God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand in the word of God. And don't be shaken by what you see around. Don't be shaken by what you hear. Stand strong in faith. And believe in the word of God. And victory is yours in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory is yours. Victory is yours. I don't know whom I'm speaking to. I don't know what you have been thinking and what you have been worried about. But I want to tell you this. The Lord is reaching you right now. The Lord is reaching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is reaching you. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray for you now. Wherever you are, I pray for you. May the lost power come upon you. May the fire of God consume all evil that is trying to consume you. And any wicked spirit that is trying to take an advantage because of your weakness in this time, may the fire of God come and consume in the name of Jesus Christ. And may God's word come to pass in your life. 
May his promises that are yes and amen be fulfilled in your life. May you be strengthened. May the Spirit of God lift you and carry you from your feet. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. That your prayers have been answered, we decree, we declare. That the enemy who has been attacking without giving up, who has been attacking you without resting, we declare today, we declare today, two is better than one. With the word that I decree and declare in your life, I declare you victorious. I declare you winning. I declare in the name of Jesus, there is a way for you. And there is a door opening for you in the name of Jesus. A door is opened. A door is open for you. A door is opening for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall do that which is above your imagination. That which is, which is above your mind. The Lord shall do more and more. Things that you have not thought that you would do. The Lord's hand shall be more, more, more stronger upon you. And may, I, may, may you find an opportunity today to pray and know that he's listening in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for those that are sick. I don't know sickness that might be in your body, but I pray for you. I pray for you. May you be healed. May you be healed. May you be healed. May you be healed. May you be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord show you right now his manifestation. The power of God right now. May the Lord show you his manifestation in your body in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare good health to you. Good health to your body. Good health to your body in the name of Jesus. I declare peace unspeakable joy unspeakable in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus we touch by the power of God your bones be healed your flesh be healed your lungs be healed your heart be healed your kidneys be healed your bladder be healed your mind be healed your ears be healed any organ in your body we declare the healing of God in Jesus mighty name I pray for breakthroughs in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and I declare, whatever that is happening to people around the world, as for you, in the name of Jesus, you are preserved. As for you, I declare, you are preserved in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. In your coming in, in your going out, I declare in the name of Jesus, by God's power and God's grace, I declare you shall never lack. The Lord shall provide each and every day for you in Jesus' mighty name. I bless your children. May your children be covered by the power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. And that the enemy may not snatch you in the name of Jesus. But you remain strong in the Lord. May you be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord empower you as you go forward. Thank you for joining me today. I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My name is Fortune Jadida. See you next time. I love you and Jesus loves you more. Shalom, 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 shalom. That's the, what the song says that right when they thought that it's over, a new door opened. There's a new chapter. You are writing a new page.
That's the, what the song says that right when they thought that it's over, a new door opened. There's a new chapter. You are writing a new page. Yeah. 